it's Serena and welcome to Let Me Try That where I do find videos of trying things that I find online. A lot of interesting things that you're just kind of like, does it really work like that? Uh, does it turn out like that? Because most of the time I try things, I know other people try things and it doesn't exactly always look like the picture online. So today I'm trying to make chocolate bowls. You know, the bowls you see that they're like, oh, just put some chocolate on a balloon and it's going to make a really cool bowl for your ice cream or whatever. I've seen some very interesting ones that aren't just the little bowl. They're like these fancy freaking sculptures made from a balloon. So I'm going to try to get all fancy with it and see if I can do it to make it look presentable. <laughs> All I needed was some balloons that we washed because I didn't want my chocolate to taste like latex. Um, got some chocolate chips. And then I actually had some leftover white chocolate chips. So I'm gonna decorate with the white chocolate. First things first, blow your balloon. Kind of medium size, don't blow it up really big, but um, I guess really depending on how big you want your bowl, like that's, that's really a kind of big one. Um, but like I said, I was going to get fancy with this one, so I'm going to try to make it like a, a huge bowl, not like a little personal bowl. So, I'm going to tie that up. Okay. I don't like balloons. I'm going to get my chocolate ready. And melt this in the microwave. You can use a double burner, but um, a lot of things. I'm not that fancy. I'm just gonna throw it in the microwave. So I put my chocolate in for about a minute 30 and it's melted, but you kind of have to get it to cool so that when the balloon touches it, that it doesn't melt. And this is kind of the dilemma because how do you keep it from not getting hard while it's cooling? I don't know. I'm just gonna stir it. Gonna take the balloon. Okay, so don't use a big balloon, um, unless your bowl is this small. So I'm going to dump it in my chocolate. See, it just doesn't, I don't know. I covered it. So I'm just going to use my spoon. I guess I didn't use enough chocolate to get up on the sides. So I'm just covering the balloon, like making sure that there's no gap. Okay, so... I covered the bottom of my balloon and I wanted to be very decorative and have the chocolate dripping down this side. So I'm gonna kind of sit it in my little bowl. Oh my God, I did something right. Look at it, it fits in there perfectly. I'm gonna try to rip and melt this white chocolate so then I can drip it with the white chocolate. I'm gonna take some of my regular chocolate and do some Drizzling down the side. I don't. It's been like a minute 30 and it still won't melt. Okay, so. This is my failure side. I was trying to drizzle the chocolate down, but it won't drizzle. I like, I'm trying to like get it to like just like, you know. You know, like freaking ice cream on in your hands and on a hot summer day. I'm trying to do that to this bowl. I shouldn't have worn white. So I have the balloon in the bowl, but the whole point of the bowl was in case I could do the whole dripping thing so that it would stay like that and get cold. But you are going to want to make like a flat surface for your, your bowl because your bowl is a bowl. So I'm going to make the flat surface for our bowl. But I'm gonna put some Pam down on this in case it sticks, because I put I put some foil on a little saucer. Okay. So then I'm gonna put some of my leftover chocolate on here to make a flat little, like little, kind of like a little plate. And then I'm just gonna take my balloon bowl and just plop it on there. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna check on my bowl. It's been like 20 minutes. Um, halfway through, I threw it in the freezer because I kind of really wanted to get it done and cold so I can finish my video. It's 
it's hard. Um, yeah. While I was waiting, I looked up about the white chocolate and why I couldn't get it to melt. Apparently, when you're doing white chocolate, you're better off doing the double boiler or melting it over warm water because I guess the microwave kind of makes it really clumpy. And I feel like even with this chocolate, if I like when I wanted to do the drippings and it was kind of hard, maybe I should have done the same thing instead of using the microwave. So that's something I learned. So now I get to pop the balloon. Um, I also forgot one thing, and I'm gonna pop the balloon with this. I don't know. But um, I should have used um, some vegetable oil spray on the balloon before I put chocolate on it. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna see. I mean, I've seen a recipe where they didn't even say anything about it, and then the one that I'm actually looking at now kind of says it. So we're gonna see how this goes. I don't want to pop a balloon. Worst part about making this bowl. Oh! Um, my little dripping thing kind of stuck to the balloon. I just got the rest of this balloon off. Um, like I said, I didn't use the pan. Um, you may want to use it because it was very difficult to get this out, but it may also affect the taste of the chocolate, so I don't know. So here's my chocolate bowl. Um, it kind of looks like a disaster, but it is a bowl made of chocolate. What I was gonna do is I have fresh strawberries that I'm just gonna put in my bowl. And then I'm gonna eat the bowl and my strawberries at the same time. So here's my finished little chocolate bowl with some strawberries and don't mind the chocolate that's on my fingers. So yeah, thumbs up, it works. Um, just take my tips and that it'll work better for you than I think it did for me. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys next time if you want to see me try anything crazy. Um, I have a few ideas, but if you've seen anything that you'd like me to try, maybe figure out how to do it and give you guys some tips on how to do it better, um, just let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And thanks. See you guys next time. Bye.